Hello everybody, I'm going to do a quick video, short one, hopefully, that shows you how to change a seacock while your boat's in the water. Now, I'm doing a little myth busters here. Here's my old seacock, I already replaced it, but I'm going to show you the steps to do it while your boat's in the water. First off, this is a Home Depot seacock. It's about 13 bucks. The West Marine one is about 35 or 40. Now, these ones, you can see, they look just like the West Marine. They got a steel ball in there. Really good quality with Teflon. Cheap. This one I put in about seven years ago. And you can see, since I didn't work the valve, when I did finally work it, I thought I better do this once in a while. It snapped and it's stuck in a half open position. Now it didn't fail and it wasn't leaking, but I wasn't getting the water flow that I needed for my toilet. So I swapped them out. And here's what you need to do if you're gonna do this while the boat's in the water. You need your screwdriver for your nut for your hose clamps two pairs of pliers so you can work against yourself and not bust off the through the through hole if it's frozen if it's not frozen then you're good to go you need Teflon tape because you can wrap the threads underwater while the water is spraying all everything and still get a good seal if you use goop it doesn't work quite well because it won't stick so Teflon tape is a trick and you need this a cork you shave it to the size of the hole so when you take your valve out you put the cork in and you stop it now of course once you pull this out you got your through hole and the through hole sits there and you shove that thing in there. Then you take the Teflon tape, you wrap it around it quite quickly, you get your valve, you screw your valve on, you shut it, and you're done. Now let me show you what it looks like after it's all completed. It took The whole process took me about 15 minutes. The reason I like using Teflon tape on my through holes, I don't over tighten them when I tighten them, I just make them snug and a little bit more. You can always take them off, they don't get frozen in place. If you want to take a monkey wrench and um, the shit out of them you can but when you go to take them off years later they'll be very hard don't forget I was a marine mechanic for many years and I worked on a lot of people's boats and I saw all kinds of stuff this seems to be the best it works for me I never have a problem taking these out they may not last forever but they're easy to swap out I get a little bit of water and here's what you do go get a little video of this get my flashlight okay right down there that's the valve I put in. There's a the Teflon tape, you can see it. There's the angle thing. So, you basically have a bilge pump that'll keep up with everything if anything goes wrong. Now I had my bilge pump set up just in case. Let me see if I can balance this here again. Hang on a second, guys. My videos suck, but they're very instructional. Hang on. There we go. Hope you don't fall. So basically, the whole steps is this. You take your hose clamp off, pull your hose off, now your valve's gonna start leaking. Before you pull that hose off, you wiggle it a little bit to see how loose it is to make sure you can turn it. Then you whip it off real quick, the water starts shooting out, you take your cork, put your cork in the hole, jam it in there good and solid, take your Teflon tape, wrap it, take your little valve, the new one, put it on top. I usually do it with it open because the water comes out. You don't have to if you don't, if sometimes when the valve is closed, you won't have the room to swing it. So I keep everything up so I can swing it Put it in, close it, now your hole's done, you're sealed, and you can proceed to put the rest of the parts on it at leisure. And of course, make sure your bilge pump is good and operational because if something goes wrong, you're by yourself, you're gonna have to put your finger in the hole and try and reach for tools, which is what happened to me because unfortunately my cork wasn't quite the right size, but it was a quick job. I just held it with my finger, grabbed what I needed, got the job done. It can be done in the water. It can be done with cheap parts. I spent $13 at Home Depot. Everything's good to go. Voila, another cheap fix. No offense against West Marine. I do spend my fair share there, but not if I don't have to. Thanks guys, hope you enjoyed the video. See you again.